and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a first impressions i've got here three products that i haven't tried before two products are from lottie london and maybe you saw them in my makeup haul it is the 10 time bronzer and the highlighter and then i also got a little eyeshadow palette from catrice and this is from their mini collection so that's why i'm wearing my disney t-shirt and i'm also really excited to try this out so i'm just going to do my makeup and test these ones out so yes that's today's video if you're new here on my channel i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i make a lot of beauty related videos vlogs videos about turkey so if you like that make sure you subscribe and of course you can also follow me on instagram and now let's get started with the video so i'm going to start it with my base and that's the Flormar illuminating primer base and there's just the tiniest bit left, so I have to try a new primer. And let me know in the comments which primer you like, so maybe I can check it out. I quite like this primer, but the scent is a little bit strong. And I'm just excited to try something new, so yeah, let me know. And I'm still using my BB cream quite a lot, so I'm also going to use it today. And it is the Ola's Total Effect 7-in-1 BB Cream. So this BB cream is the lightest shade, I believe it is fair. Yeah, it is the lightest shade, but it is not so light. I was a little bit tan this summer, but it's already fading away. And as you can see, it's almost too dark for me now. So I think I can only wear it maybe a few times more. And after I have to use my foundation again because it's just too dark. Then I have a really lovely spot here. So I'm going to camouflage that. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the color 10. And I apply this where I need a little bit more coverage. Also a little bit under my eyes. Because this BB cream is really natural, it doesn't cover almost anything to be honest. Then I'm going to use my other concealer and that is the Maybelline Instant anti Age Erase Concealer in the color Ivory and my brush is falling down. <laughs> and then I'm going to powder it all off with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color 5 Silky Beige. And now the exciting part, I'm going to test out the Lottie London bronzer. So this is the 10 time bronzer and it is in the color, let me see, light medium. Lottie London is a cruelty free makeup brand, which is really nice. So this is how the packaging looks. I think it's really cute. And what I really love about it is the little star. Look how cute. I just don't want to use it because I will ruin all the little stars. But yeah, I really do love it. I believe it is an old matte bronzer, so you can maybe also contour with it. So, um, yes, let's test it out. Oh, there's a lot of pigment coming off. This is a clean brush, and as you can see, a lot of pigment coming off. Oh, do you see that? Whoa, it is like super pigmented. And it's a beautiful color. It is not really like an orange shade, but really a nice and a warm color whoa i love this a little bit on my forehead like do you see that how beautiful is that really natural but love it it blends so nicely into the skin i don't know if you can see it it's really oh this is my new favorite bronzer i already know it wow i'm so happy with this bronzer it is such a beautiful color it blends really nicely into the skin I absolutely love it. Before I test out the Lottie London highlighter, uh, I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. And for that I use the Rituals uh, Blush in Peach Glow. So now it's time for the Lottie London highlighter. And this is called the Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. 
And look at this. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it is so pretty. So many little shimmers. So excited to try this. I'm just going in a little bit because I think it's quite pigmented. Ooh, do you see that? Wow, I love it. It is so pigmented. This is a little bit of a cooler toned highlighter. As you can see, wow. The shimmer is like unbelievable again. And I just used the tiniest bit as you can see and it's super pigmented as well. And I love a good highlighter so I am so happy with this one. It gives you such a nice and healthy glow and I think you can really build this up because I just used the tiniest bit. So if you want like a really really strong highlighter you can definitely uh, create it with this one. I'm now going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use the Essence um, Eyebrow Designer in the color Blonde. So like I said, I'm going to test out the Catrice uh, Mini Eyeshadow Palette, I believe. Yes, it's the Limited Edition Mini and Daisy Eyeshadow Palette. And this palette is called C01 Mini Signature. Look how cute the packaging is. And these are the colors. And I still have the plastic on it, so I'm going to remove that first. Okay, so I have to remove the plastic, but... Oh yeah. So this is the palette. As you can see, really nice wearable everyday shades. I really love the shades in here. I think you can wear this every day. And there's also a big mirror. So a really lovely little palette. So I'm going first in with Witty. And that is this color right here. As you can see, a really nice brown shade. This shade is not too pigmented, but you can build it up quite nicely. Then I'm going in with the shade Warm Hearted. And it's this one right here. So this shade is more pigmented. And then I'm going to apply the color Feisty a little bit more on my outer corner. And it's this shade right here. And this one is again really nice and pigmented. Then I'm going in with this shade right here, which is called uh, Iconic. And this shade I'm going to apply all over my eyelids. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. This shade is quite hard to apply. It comes off quite patchy. So the shimmer is really nice, but it's just really hard to apply evenly. So I'm going in with another shimmery shade, and this one is called Cheerful. And it's this one right here. Okay, so this one is easier to apply. I think the other one is maybe a little bit chunky, so that's why it's maybe hard to apply, I'm not sure. This one is really nice. And then I'm going in with the middle shade, which is called Darling. And I'm going to apply this one underneath my eyebrow and also in the inner corner of my eye. And this is just a matte creamy shade. So a really cute little palette. The colors are quite nice. You can build them up nicely. Not as pigmented as some of the other palettes I own. And this iconic one is quite hard to blend. But I do really love this shade right here, which is called Cheerful. And also uh, Feisty and Warm Hearted uh, were also quite nice and pigmented. And the packaging is just really cute, so I'm really happy with this palette. I'm not going to apply any eyeliner today, I'm just going straight in with my mascara. And I'm using the Yves Rocher Sexy Pilt Mascara. And then for my lips, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Eclair. So I absolutely love the Lottie London products. The bronzer is just amazing and a beautiful highlighter as well. Really, really happy with them. And the little mini palette I also do love. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye.